Hey guys, today I want to just have a brief look at the passage where Jesus feeds the 4,000. And um, yeah, I, there's just some things in here that jumped out at me that I really think we can learn from and grow from, you know, grow in. Uh, so I really hope you enjoy this video. So in, in, in this passage, uh, I'm reading from Mark chapter 8, uh, in verse 2, Jesus says this. So basically what's happened actually is that this great crowd has gathered, right? And Jesus has been teaching them, um, but they have they had nothing to eat for a while, you know? And um, Jesus says to the disciples, I have compassion on the crowd because they have been with me now three days and have nothing to eat. And if I send them away hungry to their homes, they will faint on the way. And some of them have come from far away, from far away. Um, now, you know, there's, there's a couple of things that really struck me here. The first one is Jesus's compassion for those who have come to him, hungry for his word, right? Hungry to hear from him. Uh, and he doesn't want them to go away uh, and faint on the way. He has compassion on them. He cares about them. You know, and we can be sure about that in our lives too, that if we seek the Lord, he will have compassion on us and he will care about it. I mean, he cares about and loves all of us. But I, I really believe that there's something really pleasing to God about those who really seek him and are willing to go to such lengths because let's, this is the second thing that really struck me here is the fact that these people were there for three days and had nothing to eat just so that they could be around Jesus. Now when I think of myself I think man would I would I have stayed there three days with nothing to eat? You know I really hope I would have I really do but you know sometimes I, I see myself nowadays and I get hungry you know, it's lunchtime and I, you know, I, I really have a weakness there, you know, when it comes to food. Uh, you know, I'm not, I don't do well when I'm hungry. And, you know, I want to desire Jesus so much that I'm willing to go hungry for three days just to be around him. You know, that I love him so much that I don't want to leave his presence, even if I know that there's food. I mean, some, I, I imagine, I imagine, no, I, I don't know, it doesn't tell us that some of the people may not have stayed there three days. You know, some of the people may have stayed there for a few hours and then got hungry and like, hey, it's lunchtime, let's go. You know, but these people, these people, they desired the Lord so much that they were there for three days without any food. Just so that they could be in his presence, just so that they could be with him. And that's the kind of attitude we need to have, you know, just to desire the presence of God so much that, you know, and nothing else can pull us away from him. Uh, and then, and then of course, uh, Jesus multiplies bread and fish and he feeds all of them. And there's seven basketfuls, I think it's seven basketfuls, uh, yeah, f left over at the end of it. And, and, and there, I mean, there's, there's a lot to learn from there too. Um, I'll just briefly say it's, it's, we see how um, you know, he takes the little that they have and he multiplies it and makes it enough uh, for others. And he can do that with our lives too. He can take the little that we have and make it enough and take care of us and feed us and provide for us and provide for others. You know, whatever we have, he will take it and he will use it and make it enough. 